Hey everybody. Hello. Welcome to Bulldog Brothers TV. I'm Master Everett. And I'm Michael and today we are doing another one of our uh, videos for snooping around MJ's locker. Of course these are brought to us by hardwoodhits.com and this right here folks is a hardwood hit. A nice natural wood maple stand to put your PSA graded card, your BGS graded cards, your, your cards in one touch cases and display them nicely. Now go to hardwoodhits.com or follow them on Instagram. Check out their new product. They actually have a universal stand. This stand was made custom for a PSA graded card and there's nothing wrong with that. It looks wonderful. But they now have a universal uh, stand that can fit all the above. So even um, your standard top loaders. So. Um, I would recommend you go check that out. I think they're two for nine ninety five right now. Um, get yourself a two pack and display uh, any cards you have, whether they're in PSA graded, BGS graded, one touch, top loader, horizontal, vertical, whatever. Get them and get them displayed and looking nice so that you can enjoy them for years to come. So pretty cool stand. Thanks to HardwoodHits.com. Go check those guys out. And now let's get started with today's. Um, opening which yeah. would be locker number five of six from the 1991 well, 92 there's, there's inaugural seven. upper deck boom there you go there's kind of seven because well we have one, one from the year out. following so we'll do that on week seven <clears throat> but uh this uh, it was actually a, a series of six uh, these locker series uh there's seven uh, inaugural series upper deck basketball cards packs in there 12 cards per pack uh, here's MJ in locker five of six and we've been snooping around MJ's locker here now for well five weeks and it's been a lot of fun our special thanks to our friends um, at uh, our local card shop Indy card exchange for selling us these guys for five bucks a pop so it's been great fun to dig in and snoop around MJ's locker with the opportunity to find some MJ's. That's what we're after here. And speaking of that, while Master Everett opens the box, let's let's take a look back and, and see uh, how we've done here. Of course, we have some non-MJ's that we found. I love these old um, upper deck holographics. These are, of course, are, are Dennis Rodman, Defensive Me. Player of the Year. Of course, we have Hakeem Olajuwon. And then um, in our first box, Locker 1, we got the Michael Jordan East All-Star cards. Um, and uh, this was from Charlotte Weekend. And then um, in Locker 2, we did not we did not get an MJ. And so we have these break open in case of emergency packs uh, from Upper Deck, which we got at our local card shop for a buck. Um, and they have MJ what? inside. And so we got this MJ. Um, paying a little bit of homage to the 45 even though he's not wearing the 45 there it is on the back then in the third box we found the uh, Orlando all-star weekend Michael Jordan pretty cool and uh, uh, I think we also found this insert the stay in school insert that has MJ on the back and um, our most recent video locker four we found a little magic inside not Michael but it's magic and the Michael Jordan base card, which was a lot of fun. So today, we're still snooping around MJ's locker, hoping to find some more Michael Jordan cards. Um, we'd love to have those those beautiful hollows. You remember I, I showed the hollows here of we our friend MJ hollows. Dennis Rodman. We, well, we'd like the MJ version. I think there's maybe two versions of MJ you, in this inaugural series of upper deck them. basketball cards. And so we're hunting those. Um, so once again... Michael Jordan locker's yes, been open. Shampoo. Boom. Yes, she shampoo in his locker. Uh, so we'll close this locker box up. We'll place it in the back, like so. And and we have started. here's six of the seven booster packs. You may remember these if you're uh, at least my age or older, and you were a collector back in '91, '92. You definitely remember these well, and uh, it's been it's been a fun walk there down memory lane. Um, as we take a look at these Whoa. cards. So here we go. We have an all-star card. Hershey Hawkins right off the bat. Uh. <laughs> we can just stop right now, folks. MJ himself, we got the MJ base card again. So awesome. 
Very cool. We'll just set him right back there. Nice and crispy. Oh, MJ's teammate, Horace Grant. Without the specs. Without the rec specs. Eldon Campbell. Oh, here we go. Steve Alford, uh, an Indiana boy uh, who played for the, the Mavericks for a while and um, became a good coach. Uh, now is at UCLA, so there's Steve Alford. That's pretty cool. I went to his basketball camp as a kid at Manchester College. What do you think of that? Uh, Kelly Tripucka. Wow, look at the fro on that guy. Joe Dumars, uh, guard standout at uh, Pistons, one of the bad boys there. Walter Davis, Terry Porter, all-star card out of the West. Clyde the Glide Drexler base card, very cool. Uh, nice. This is a nice pack. Wow, James Edwards and Travis Mays. If you got this pack, you were very happy because I had MJ and I had Clyde the Glide. I had... Uh, you know, Horace Grant was a household name. Joe, New Joe Dumars was a household name. Of course, you had two all-star cards, uh, Hershey Hawkins and Terry Porter. And then if you were from Indiana, it had a Steve Alford in it. I mean, this was a this was a dream pack. Uh, right off the top, too. Another uh, all-star uh, from the Celtics, Robert Parrish. Oh, and there's some magic. Wow. Didn't have to hunt long to find um, MJ and... You know, we'll, we'll put Clyde up. We'll, we've got our own little, like, all-star team going back there. Stacy King of the Chicago Bulls. Uh, I think he played on some championships. Scotty Boom! Pippen! Scotty Pippen! So, we'll, we're going to scoop Magic over because Pippen belongs with Jordan. Wow. Let's get one more look at that card right there. Scotty Pippen. The right-hand man to MJ. Spud Webb. Another household name here. Wow, these packs... Locker 5 of 6 so far is delivering Terry Mills. Oh, Tate George. Don't remember him. Anthony Bonner. Kevin Duckworth, uh, West All-Star card. Dwayne Campbell. Chris Morris and... Sorry about that. And I got my piles mixed up. And a Derek Coleman uh, rookie card, which... Was sort of an up and comer back then. So, wow. So, uh, this has been fantastic. This is sort of the stuff I was looking for in the first, you know, four lockers, and it's finally coming to be in locker five. This is the way I thought it'd be, and it was sort of, sort of slow going those first few boxes. But boy, we are coming alive now. I love these collector's choice cards. Yeah. Of course, I don't, you know, Alvin Robertson. I don't know this is the one I'd write home about, but uh, nonetheless, there it is. Doc Rivers, now coach of the Clippers. There he was as a player. Uh, William Bedford. James Donaldson. Sleepy Floyd. <laughs> sleepy, Sleepy Floyd. Right up there with Fat Lever. Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh, boy. We have a hologram. We don't know who we it is. We don't know who it is. We are dying for the MJ hologram. Now, I'm willing to guess that, I, I don't know, this is probably just too optimistic thinking, but I'm willing to guess there's an MJ hologram in there just the way this locker has been going. I mean, Spud Webb, Clyde Drexler, Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen, Magic Johnson, base cards already pulled out in two packs. I have, a, I just have a good feeling that this is an MJ hollow. If it is, are you going to go crazy? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, Otis Smith is is the Orlando Magic player ahead of this hollow. Come on, baby. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Yes! 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 We did it! We did it! The MJ hologram, at least one of the uh, MJs that we've been chasing, the Michael Jordan MVP, I believe there is one more... Yes! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> we did it, folks. The MJ hologram. Wow. Locker 5 is where it's at. MVP. All right, Spud, you scoot over. Clyde, you scoot over. MJ, I mean, I don't know. I want, I want to put you right here. Because we're going to put... Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh. We're going to put that and then 
it's got a bit of a mirrored effect back there, but we will get these in top loaders ASAP. Wow. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Mike Sanders of your Indiana Pacers. Uh, Wayne Cooper. Tom Chambers. All-star card. Paul Presley. Scott Hastings of the Pistons. And rounding out the pack, Dwayne Coswell. Rookie card. So, uh, I, super I fun. Look at this. We're just two packs in, folks. Like, we literally have... One, two, three, four, and then Five. the fifth pack that Everett's opening right now. I can. I mean, this is this is this is good. This is really good. This is fun. Thank you, Upper Deck, for making these cards back in the day. I had fun with them then. I might be even having more fun with them now with my son Everett. Oh no. Oh no way. Oh no way. Oh, oh no, no way. way. No way! No way! No way! The Keep it nice, keep it nice, keep it nice. The, the box of, the locker box of all box here just keeps getting better. This was on top. This is what we're freaking out about. The collector's choice, Michael Jordan. Dude. <laughs> this is amazing. This is super fun. We are like beside ourselves silly. Okay, we've got to readjust these decent cars because they just keep getting better. So we'll put... Um, no. We'll put Scotty next to the MJ base over there. We got the three packs hollow. in a row. Three and there we row. are, the Michael Jordan uh. collector's choice. We, we yes, that's right. Three packs in a row. We're three packs deep in box five, locker box five of six, and we have pulled a Michael Jordan in all three packs. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh! Card after card. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening right now? <laughs> These packs are not fake. These packs have not been tampered with. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I don't think we had this one. Okay, so it's an all-star checklist, and MJ is on the front looking like a boss. Peacocking right there. Oh, my goodness, dude. Yes! Okay, James Worthy all-star card. Dennis the Menace Rodman there. Not bad. Base card. Uh, Sherman Douglas, Hakeem Olajuwon. I mean, these packs are just gold. Uh, Jerry Reynolds, Chris Morris of the Nets. Sorry about that. Let me get reset here. Dwayne. I can't even say his last name, but look at that mullet. I mean, that that is mullet MVP of the NBA. Part party in the back, hardcore. I mean, it's not even business in the front. It's like Valley Kid in the front, party in the back. Look at that mullet. Would you like to have a mullet? No, it's the worst haircut of all time. Wow, great mullet, great warm-up. Dwayne Schnitzel. Okay, David Robinson, the Admiral, all-star card. Derek McKee. Harvey Grant, Horace's brother for the Bullets, and Gerald Put it off the glass, rookie card. Okay, wow, that was that was only three packs in, right? Incredible, 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 incredible. So right off the top of the next pack, a Bernard King collector's choice card, pretty cool, but not the MJ one. Uh, Moses Malone, how sort of a household name. B.J. Armstrong, the guard for the Bulls out of Iowa. Remember that guy well. I'm gonna kind of hold on to him. Uh, Reggie Lewis of the Celtics. Chuck Person, the Rifleman. This dude drop kicked a basketball to the second deck of uh, Market Square Arena in Indianapolis. Back when that was before the Bankers Life Field House, we had Market Square Arena. And this dude got mad once and drop kicked the ball on the second deck. Don't do that. I think he got thrown out of the game. Chuck Person, the Rifleman. That's funny. Uh, Sean Elliott. Good player in his own right. James Edwards. Man, these packs are fantastic. Todd Murphy. Magic Johnson All-Star card. This would be um, Charlotte Weekend. James Less is More. Trent Tucker and oh, a D. Brown rookie to round out the pack. These are, man, these packs have been generous. They've been awesome. They've been kind. We have three to go. <laughs> Master Everett has. Oh, sweet. Oh. 
Magic Irving Johnson. Patrick no, Patrick Ewing. Ewing for the. Patrick. Patrick's got to take down the Monstars. Yeah. Patrick Ewing, Patrick All Star card. Ewing. He's got Man. David Robinson trying to to guard him there. That's that's cool. Very nice. A minute bull. Know. This dude was like seven six. Ever this dude was a he was a twig, but he was very tall. Minute bull. Uh, Ed Pickney. Kevin Upshaw, the Mavs. Fred Roberts, Travis Mays. Oh, Danny A. Nope, that's not Danny. Brad Lojas. Carl Malone, All Star card. Sean. Not gonna say your last name. Joe Dumars, again the guard. How do I remember this card well? The Stacy Ogman and the Stonewash Jeans NBA draft pick card for the Hawks. Stacy Ogman. Uh, lottery pick there and Willie Burton to round out the pack yeah I had that Stacy Ogden card that's probably one of the more memorable ones of this series that I had because I was like why is this dude wearing an oversized white t-shirt and stonewashed jeans which by the way be quiet because the fun is going to get good was again. definitely the look back then be quiet because the fun's going to be get better Whoa, be quiet because the fun's going to get... Oh, my goodness. Another MJ. Of course, we have this one, but, I mean, this makes one, two, three, four, five. Our fifth MJ of this locker box, this locker series. I mean, I don't even know what to do with you, MJ. I mean, we just have too many of them now. Sorry, Scotty. You're going to get covered up. Uh, Rick Mahorn, when he was a sixer. Uh, Terry Davis. Oh, that's that's really his card. Okay. Um... Tony Smith, Ramil Robinson, Joe Buchler, Buckler, uh, Liddell Eccles, and a John Stockton, short shorts, West All-Star card, a Carl Malone, the mailman, base card, delivering that mail over Clyde Drexler, Tate George again, Kevin Edwards, and Irving Magic Johnson base card. That's our second one of this locker box, our third one of this series, snooping around MJ's locker. And a rookie at the back, Tyrone Hill. Wow. I mean, these are the packs I thought we would be opening when we first started this series. Again, it was pretty slow going, the first um, four locker boxes. Locker box five of six. I can't believe it stayed closed this long because there's so many hits, so much hot stuff inside. I'm surprised it just didn't bust the door open and, and explode because it had so much good stuff in it. Charles, Charles Barkley. Barkley. Uh, East All-Star card. Michael Adams of the Nuggets. Ron Anderson of the Sixers. We got Michael Cage. John Williams. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Go home. <laughs> Put some clothes on. Oh, oh, we have a hollow behind this dude, whoever this dude is. John Sund Sundvold. John Sundvold. Put some clothes on. Okay, we have a hollow behind John Sundvold here. Could it be the other MJ? Could it be another MJ? Could it be somebody else awesome? I don't know. This is going to get good. Bang! The Admiral Dennis, or excuse me, David Robinson. Uh, probably led the league in rebounds that year because this is a rebounds card. So you another. Can, you can see the camera. You can see the camera. Oh, you can see our webcam there. There it is. Hey, everybody. Pretty awesome holographic card there. David Robinson, rebound leader card. I don't even know where to put that. Wow. Derek Coleman of the Nets. Um, I'm going to keep that base card. He was a decent rookie that year, I believe. Clyde the Glide Drexler West card. Of course, we got his base card. Kevin Johnson, um, a bit of a household name from the Suns. Mike Sanders and La Loy Vaught, a rookie, round out the pack. Do we have one more? Or was that it? That was oh, it. that was it. So, I can't even go through uh, all the decent, I would say decent, they're probably worth five cent cards. Because uh, that's the stack that I thought was worth keeping in the whole bunch. And then the hits, of course, we just saw the David Robinson um, hollow. That was beautiful. Of course, we had the Spud Webb base, the Clyde Drexler, Clyde the Glide Drexler base card. Then we had um, not one, but two Magic Johnson uh, base cards. They're the same. Um, we had the Scotty Pippen. MJ's right-hand man base card. 
And now we get into the goods. Of course, we have this. We have already pulled this Michael Jordan uh, Charlotte All-Star Weekend card. Then we came across a new uh, Charlotte Weekend All-Star card. It turns out it was the Charlotte Weekend All-Star Checklist, but it features our boy MJ uh, on the front there. Uh, right off the top of one of the packs, the Collector's Choice MJ Art card. So nice. Uh, has a Chicago Bulls checklist on the back. And then, um, you know, we, we, had, we pulled this, I think, second card in the first pack. We had this base card we pulled in our last box, but we're happy to have it again. So there it is, the beautiful Michael Jordan base from the 91-92 Upper Deck inaugural basketball card and then series. And the best card and we I think, got yeah, here. Yeah, the best one we got here was the MJ, Michael MVP. Jordan MV, MVP. Most um, valuable player. Oh, my gosh, it's so cool. Here's the back of that. Most valuable player. Love those those Jays. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. So, pretty successful day of bust and packs and locker box number five of six. Of course, uh, next our next episode we'll do six of six, and then the week after that we'll break open the next year a box from the the year following. A little bit more robust of a box, and we'll see what's in there. I hope it's packs like these. Wow, seven packs in this box, and they I think they all delivered. That was super fun. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, what should our, our, our viewers do? Ever? Subscribe. Like this video. Comment. Comment. And yeah. Let us know which of the MJs we pulled today you like the best. I would uh, say. If you know of anything would, else in this inaugural series. I would say Gentle. Gentle. If you know anything else in this inaugural series of uh, Upper Deck Basketball Cards, let us know. Um, and uh, if you had any good memories of cards, and maybe we'll pull them. And uh, yeah, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. Definitely like this video, and we will be back soon with another edition of Snooping Around MJ's Locker. Until then, and as always, Go Dogs! Go Dogs!